What's going on you guys? Pet Platypus here, and it's time to talk about Avatar The Last Airbender, The Rift, Part 1 for Avatar Month. And it's pretty good, and I'll get to why it's pretty good in a minute, but first a quick summary. It starts off in Yudao, and now Yudao has its own government now. This is obviously set up in The Promise, briefly mentioned in The Search. It's now come full circle. Yudao has a new government that's going to try and focus on bringing the different cultures together and having people live in one place, one city. Obviously a precursor to Republic City, at least that's my theory. That's what they're strongly hinting at. So, yeah, that's cool. Very nice. At the celebration, Aang starts seeing visions of a previous airbending avatar who can't speak to him. Uh, well, I mean, she's trying, but she can't, like, she's talking, but it's muted. So he doesn't know what she wants. He concludes that they need to celebrate her holiday, basically. He brings some of the Air Acolytes and the gang over to this statue. They start celebrating. This is where we get some uh, culture building for the Air Nomad people. Very interesting. Very nice. I liked it. Uh, he says a couple things that kind of piss off Toph, and Toph gets a little stubborn. He gets a little stubborn. They start arguing. A town was built on sacred land, which starts to piss Aang off, and we're kind of going back into northern uh, Air Temple territory in the first season, so that's kind of iffy because Aang kind of already went through this and we kind of already went through this as an audience but you know see where it goes uh, I'll talk about more of that in the review portion but what ends up happening is they go to the refinery that's in the town and they see how it works there's benders of all life you know water fire well not air obviously but water earth fire they're all working at this factory getting these crystals and everything the river's polluted as fuck but the guy who owns the factory, or the guy who's running the factory, says that ain't our fault. Toph mind reads, not mind reads him, what the fuck, she lie detectors him. And he turns out that he's telling the truth, it's not fucking the river up. At least that's what Toph says, she kind of has a crush on this guy, so that's a little iffy. And then a machine goes haywire, and there's these earthquakes happening, and Aang keeps seeing visions of this previous avatar, and she shows him this vision of some crazy spirit monster thing which looked pretty badass, crushing and destroying stuff, and Aang is like, basically he says, I'm not, was that like something in the past, or is that something that's gonna happen, and she can't tell him because she's still mute. So, that's intriguing, and as I said, Toph kind of has a crush on this guy, and he kind of, not has a crush on Toph, but he's kind of fanboying over her, and we find out why. He's trying to, I'm pretty sure he's trying to kiss ass because... It turns out that the person his uncle is working with is her dad, and her dad shows up at the end, and it's like, boom, to be continued. And it was pretty good. Um, so for the overall review, the art was very nice. The overall uh, pacing and story progression, they were a tad weak, only because it was basically set up, and set up usually doesn't have a ton of story progression. But as set up, it set up quite a few different things, so I guess the story progression there is fairly good. The pacing was a tad slow. Um, I liked the culture building. I liked, you know, oh, we, you know, we play our music here, and we go eat this stuff over here, and we bow to the statue over here, and it was cool. It was cool airbender culture. It was cool culture building for the overall world of Avatar, and when he says, you know, this is just how it's done, and Toph gets triggered, and she has these very sad memories of how repressed she was, and how overprotected she was, and how she felt so lonely that she was kind of, like, starting to cry. And this is, like, she's, like, a... Well, she's not a little girl. She's, like, probably, what, 13 or 14 at this point in the story. This was, like, when she was probably, like, 9. Like, a small girl who wants to have friends. And she's, like, lonely. And it's pretty damn sad, to, in all honesty. Especially since she's already such a likable character. And it's just good to get characterization on Toph. And with her dad showing up, it seems she's going to get a lot more development you know, further on. I mean, this is the first time she's seen her dad in, like, what, a, at least over a year, because, let's see, well, there was the beginning of Season 2, then a couple months later there was the Day of Black Sun, and then after that there was Sozin's Comet at the end of the summer, and then we have the year time skip. So it's been, like, a year and a half since... Blah, blah, blah. It's been, like, a year and a half... Can't talk for a second... Since she's seen her family at all, and this is, you know, her dad shows up, so it's pretty intriguing. It's good that Toph's getting focused. It's what I kind of predicted at the end of my search review. I was like, yeah, Toph didn't appear in the search, and she's on the cover front and center for uh, the Rift, so maybe she'll get some focus. And it turns out that she is, which I'm welcome to that. The Aang characterization and development, though, 
we kind of went through this in the Northern Air Temple episode where he's like, hey, these temples are sacred and they're building machines and pipes and gears and stuff all over the place. And he's like, what the fuck's going on? And he is handling this situation far more maturely and far more uh, understandingly. He's not flying off the handle and destroying fucking wrecking balls and stuff like he did before. So obviously there is still growth here. It's just he's still upset about it and it's kind of like we're retreading even if it's okay for the character and it's not even a problem from the character's perspective it's kind of just a problem because we've gone through it already so I'll see where it goes I'll see how it's handled I'm not gonna judge it too quickly but I'm not feeling repeating a storyline from season one and not even that particularly interesting of a storyline in season one that episode didn't even get really good until the fire nation came in with all of its equipment in that secret back room but whatever anyways so yeah, that's basically most everything. The stuff with Katara meeting that girl, kind of interesting, but not like a huge deal. Um, we don't see Zuko in this chapter, or his mom, but apparently they're hanging out. See, if I was them, I would go to Ozai's cell and be like, hey, hey Pops, yeah, she's here. She's back in the city. I let her back in, because uh, I'm Fire Lord. You, you used to be Fire Lord, but then you got beat by the Avatar, and you had your bending taken. You, you had your bending taken, right? That's what happened? I just want to be clear. But yeah, I'm the Fire Lord now. See, I'd be a dick about it, because Ozai is such a dick, so I'd just go up to him and be a dick. Maybe that makes me an asshole. But that's what I would do if I had fucking my mom right there, and I was just like, hey, let's go pay Daddy a visit. Let's go fuck with him. That's what, that is what I'd do personally, but whatever. I could understand if she didn't even want to see the guy, but whatever. I'm off on a tangent. Uh, the Rift, what actually happened in the story, it's pretty good. It's solid setup. A couple of things I feel are a little bit you know, retreading stuff we've already seen, but I'll see where it goes. The stuff with Toph's great. The culture is great. So, overall, I'd probably give this, with the slow pacing and, you know, pretty damn good art, like a 7.8 out of 10. I thought it was a slightly above good uh, chapter of Avatar The Last Airbender. Nothing, you know, amazing that I've read. It wasn't as good as, like, any of the parts of The Search, but, you know, I'll give it time, see what happens. The spirit's kind of cool. Good setup, as I said. And the setup with Toph and her father definitely want to see where that goes. That was a great ending. So, yeah, I'm probably going to read part two right now, or at least some of it. So, yeah, like I said, a 7.8 out of 10. I thought it was a slightly above good chapter of Avatar The Last Airbender. So, thanks for watching this video. Tell me what you guys thought of Avatar The Last Airbender, The Rift, part one in the comments below. Follow me on Instagram if you would please. Rate this video. A thumbs up would be awesome. And subscribe if you haven't already, if you like what you've seen here. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.